I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. He said, He will not suffer thy foot thy foot to be moved the lord that keepeth thee he will not slumber nor sleep for the lord is thy keeper the lord is thy shade upon thy right hand upon thy right hand. No, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. He shall preserve thy soul, even Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tandiwe Gaya and I've got a prophetic word that I'd like to share with you today. Um, friends, as always, just remember that not every prophetic word is meant for you. Remember to test the spirits, ask the Lord for guidance, ask Him for confirmation. And also, um, prophetic words are confirmation of something that you've already heard from the Lord. So always just take it to the Lord and ask Him to reveal to you if it's for you and what it means for your life. Okay, so let's jump straight into the Word. So friends, this Word is for those of you who have endured through the attacks of the wicked, of wicked people who have chosen to partner with Satan, who have chosen to partner with evil in order to destroy lives, in order to just do wicked things and evil things. And God is saying, for those of you who have endured that, who have been through that, who have trusted him through those attacks, through the witchcraft that has um, come upon your life in times past, and uh, I mean, from when you were very young, um, and just how you've remained faithful and obedient to the Lord, you've trusted him, through all those attacks and you've come out strong you've been through your wilderness experience and you've come out strong trusting in the Lord and not um, and not falling away thinking that you had no hope in him God says this word is for you he has such a special word for you today my friends and I'd like to start by reading um, from Romans 12 verse 18 to 21 he says to you today that you have lived this out what I'm about to read and it reads as follows if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by, by evil, but overcome evil with good. God says to you today that you have lived that out. You have 
um, carried out this mandate even though times got so tough and the witchcraft attacks got so intense you stuck with the Lord and you continued to be kind to people no matter how they treated you even after God revealed to you who these people are who have hurt you who have tried to destroy your life and God is saying to you today well done well done because there is much reward in this how exciting is that my friends I forgot to let you know that this was a uh, base this word is based on a dream that I had on the 3rd of February so a couple of days ago um, God says that <laughs> for a long time it has appeared as though these witches these people that have partnered with evil these evil doers have had it good they have been prospering they have been getting away with so much discord with so much um, destruction with death even they've been getting it appears as though they've been getting away with all those things but God is saying that their time has come it, their time has come to face the consequences of their action he is about to dethrone every single one of them all those who have come against you in your life um, in Psalm 37 verse 1 to 3 the Lord says to you don't follow after the wicked ones or be jealous of their wealth. Don't think for a moment that they're better off than you. They and their short-lived success will soon shrivel up and quickly fade away like grass clippings in the hot sun. Keep trusting in the Lord and do what is right in His eyes. Fix your heart on the promises of God and you will be secure feasting on his faithfulness and again God is saying that you have done this you have lived this out and he's saying continue to be this way because their time the time of the evildoers of the wicked is coming to an end they cannot touch you anymore God has put a covering over you and they are trying but it is not working anymore God showed me how they were able to gain access into your life they were able to do the things that they did because he allowed it and because of many things generational issues the curses that come from um, the generational ties that we have with family the sinful life that um, that you once lived and it's not to say that today you know we, we're great and we're, we're, we are without sin but we know we know that we are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ we're walking with him and we acknowledge our sins and we bring them to him on a daily basis but there was a time when you lived a sinful life and you thought it was okay whether it was out of ignorance or out of I'm doing this and I'm gonna put everything else aside that the Lord says so stuff like that uh, gave access to these uh, wicked evil doers and God is saying that because you've walked with him because you re you remain faithful and obedient he has covered you he has put a covering over your house he has put a covering over your life and over those that you care about your family those that are close to you and these wicked and evil doers are trying to access you again they're, they're trying but it's not happening for them they can't get through to you and while they're busy trying God says destruction is coming to them my friends um, in Proverbs 6 verse 16 to 19 it says there are six things the lord hates seven that are detestable to him haughty eyes um haughty being um you know how people will consider themselves more superior than everyone else and look down on people um a lying tongue hands that shed innocent blood a heart that devises wicked schemes feet that are quick to rush into evil a false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict in the community God is saying this is what these evil doers have been doing this is what witchcraft looks like and he's saying that he he cannot stand that it is detestable to him it is an abomination to him he hates these things and these people are about to face the wrath of the Lord they're about to get what has been coming to them for a long time he showed me um, how death <laughs> is coming. He showed me death in this dream, my friends. Um, I'll give you one particular scene in this dream where these two women were sitting in the car. They were wicked women. And it was night, it was dark, thick black darkness. But I could see them, I was observing this. And a bird, a black bird, came flying into the car from one window, in through one window, and out through the other. 
and they began to panic they were in an absolute panic they knew what that meant they knew that it was death they knew that it was the end of their reign they knew that it was the end of um for some of them it's it's literally their lives it's such a hard message but they know what they chose they had a choice to choose good but they chose evil and god is saying there is death in the air death of what they're doing death of the work of their hands death in terms of their physical life being taken from them and we are not to rejoice in this in ezekiel 11 verse 21 it says but as for those whose heart goes after their detestable things and their abominations i that's my granddad he's so adorable <laughs> i will bring their deeds upon their own heads declares the lord god I'll read that again. Sorry, guys, I was distracted there. But as for those whose heart goes after their detestable things and their abominations, I will bring their deeds upon their heads, declares the Lord. Friends, the dream shifted to um, a beautiful scene. And God showed me how he has covered you. All those years that you suffered, were not for nothing. He used all that witchcraft and all those wicked things that came against you to help you, to strengthen you, to build perseverance and character and hope in you. And now he's saying, you have been covered. Now they cannot touch you anymore. Now, as long as you remain obedient and faithful and continue to walk with him, they cannot harm you anymore. He is saying that he has given you a, a high position in your family, in your setting, in, 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 in who you have covered around you. He has given you a high position in the spiritual realm to be able to pray for those that you love and to have them covered as well. He says that um, he has taken care of everything. You are protected and that you are not to worry. You don't have to keep checking. Is everything okay? Is there any chance of witchcraft happening again? Is there any chance of um, those bad things and those evil things that used to happen to me happening again? God is saying he has, he has covered you. He has locked every single doorway that was an entrance for the evil um, that, the, that Satan brought through people. Uh, people who chose to partner with him. God says that he has heard you and he has secured you and yours. In Psalm 34 verse 15 to 16, he says, The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears are open to their cries for help. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. He will erase their memory from the earth. Friends, he also showed me how there may be some loved ones who are struggling. They are not sure of where they are and who they are in Christ. And they are, are sus susceptible. <laughs> they are susceptible to the attack of the enemy, to the attack of these wicked people. And God is saying, be aware of that. Ask him for guidance and for him to show you who you need to pray for and who you need to cover in prayer because they need your prayers. God has given you something special. He has elevated you in the spirit and therefore your prayers are much closer to the Lord in a sense. And he's saying, look out for those that you have to pray for, those that you can see are lost. They think they're okay, that they, they're not lost, but they are. And God is saying, bring them into that safety, into that covering that he has given you. In 1 Timothy 2 verse 1, he says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. Friends, that's the word that I have for you today. I pray that it's been a blessing to you. I know it's an exciting word. I'm so happy and excited for you, my friend, who this word is for. It's it's, it's, it's time. It's time for you to experience a good life now, to experience that abundant life that Jesus came to bring to you, my friend. So 
know that I'm praying for you. I love you. And for all those sending emails uh, for prayer requests, I'm reading every single email. Unfortunately, I can't respond to every single email, but I am praying for you. And um, for those who don't know about it, I do take prayer requests on email. And my address is in the description box below. Friends, I love you. Take care. Um, remember that you serve a good, wonderful, loving father. And you are so deeply special to him.